couple other things that we want to make sure that we do here is now we'll progress down to our route running. Typically when we start with our routes, we start with the 92s, the 90s, 92s, and we throw all the short stuff, let the quarterback get his arm worked up, then we'll start throwing the stuff down the field. So um, 92s, you guys know what the routes are, right? Yes? No? Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. remember them all, but yeah. Well, when you get my hand up, there's a list of them in there, and I've done a pretty good job of going through them all, yeah. so you know. We, we will change the variation of a 92. Jet. Uh, Josh, show us what a 92 is, and then Jake, you come right behind them and show us what a 92 long is. This is a 92. Good. Let's go. 92 is typical. Five, six yards, unless we call it a speed out, then we'll just have a run out. Now, 92 long, when we go long, we're trying to get a first down. Okay? Let's go. Now, Sally, Sally. It's their job as a receiver to make sure they get the yards for the first down. But typically, whenever we call it long, they know, hey, we got to get a first down. Okay? Uh, 93. Concentrate on pad level, hands. Get those hands inside. Let's go. Three. We'll call a 93 if we got one safety sitting back there. Love that if we go and shoot. We get two cornerbacks and one safety. Typically the safety will line up over the tight end. So now we got that post all day long. Go ahead. 94. This is a great short yardage route here. Nobody can defend this route. It's there all day long, especially for little guys. When I was coaching in the fifth and sixth grade, we ran this all day long. I mean, after the catch, we would get pumped up. So the guy would come up and bite and he'd throw outside. Okay, go to a five, a 95. This is a route that our kids love to run. Let's go. Post corner. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, 96. Woo. What's a 96? Dig. Dig. This is a dig route. We'll go over to 1011 and straight across the field. Okay. Let's go. Sometimes we'll have a play we call both the backs across. We'll have both of them coming in. And we'll do a left yard dig and a left yard dig. Okay, 97. Post, corner, post. Remember? Yeah. This, this is good when you know you got a one on one situation with that safety out there. Cool. Yes. We scored a couple of touchdowns. Can we go one? We try and do everything as just one. Okay, 91. This is our basic fade. Every route we run, we go. The defender to think we're running this route right here. Normally, it's a full speed sprint to the end zone. Okay. All right, come on in here, guys. I don't really have any time. We've got these balls here. You can take one of your own footballs. You can just number each quadrant one through four on one end, and on the other end, A, B, C, D. This is our, our catching drill. With this ball, as you throw it, you can see that that bullseye is coming. It's really easy to see. But we'll have our guys try to catch it. See the yellow stripe right here? We want two fingers on the end of the ball. When they catch it, tuck it, and it'll be the top of the ball. Before they even do anything. So if they can't, if they can't catch it, tuck it. We can't let them run. We can't let them do anything else. They gotta catch and tuck. Catch and kiss, we call it. So catch the ball and kiss it. So here you go. Rep throw a couple of these. Just read it, tuck, tuck and read. Two. That's all we're doing. We want to get them to tuck it, catch it, tuck, catch it, tuck it, and then we'll evolve from catch, tuck, run. Okay. Now we'll catch it, tuck. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. I think I've had eight every time. All right. That's Two. good, guys. Any questions? Right. What about the different blocks? Okay. 
Let's, let's run through that real quick. <laughs> All right. Get off about five yeah. yards. Stock block. Now, once again, he's got to know if the play is on the other side of the field going away from him, he's going to cut off block. He doesn't have to do much but cut off block. We don't run off, we're going to cut off. If the play is coming to his side, he's got to either know do I crack or do I stop. It's that simple. If the play is on the other side of the center, I'm coming down here and I'm cutting off. I'm cutting off here. And I'm going to attack him. If we want to practice our blocking. If we're stalking, is the play coming outside of me? If the play is coming outside of me and I'm stalking, I'm going to attack the outside shoulder, turn him in. If it's coming inside of me, I'm going to attack the inside shoulder and turn him out. Okay? All right. Plays on the inside, Jake. My side. Your side. So go. See where he, he's got his hands right up in there. We got to get it underneath the, the chest plate if we can. If we get outside here, like this, we're going to get a holding call. Got to be inside. Okay? Cut off block. Ball's on this side. So go. Okay? And then our crack block. You guys love this. And you, if you're going to crack, make sure you put someone up here that doesn't mind ear holding somebody. Okay, because that's what we're looking for. Out this way. What we're trying to teach so you can can inside, you're going to get cracked. Yeah. I'm the cornerback. Okay, I don't even care if this guy knows. Go. Through, you guys go. Right now, he's going down. Hey. You notice what he did right before he hit him? He yelled at him. you got to get that guy to turn. Otherwise, it'll be a penalty if you blindside and hit him in the back. So even sometimes in the youth league, if it's a shoulder side, they'll call it. So you got to get him to turn, and we love that on our sweeps. So if you got a big kid out there that likes to hit, just crack every one of those, because that will go forever. Whatever that play may be. Yeah. Yeah, the kids like screaming too. Oh yeah, they like the back screaming. Anything else? Spacing is vital, and whatever we're doing. Feel free to call me anytime. When I send you my email, I'll have my return email. Ask questions. Talk about defense that you're running up to, and you want to know what type of pass play he has to sweep. He's going to take that thumb under his armpit, and he's going to make it look like he is running the sweep. Right. Okay.